Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out the video. We got a great recipe for you today. Collard greens with bacon and smoked turkey. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel too, folks. We really appreciate it. So, basic ingredients. Garlic, onion, nice big bag of collard, chopped collard greens. About six slices of bacon, smoked turkey leg, two and a half cups of water, and a quarter cup of cider vinegar. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to start prepping up your meat. Chop the bacon up. Slice as much meat as you want off the turkey leg. It's supposed to be a greens, so I don't add too much meat, just enough to give the flavor. And you can, you know, taste some of the meat while you're, uh, while you're eating the greens. It's, it's a great combo. So delicious. Now, you have to make sure you use a very tall pot because the greens, when they're fresh, are gonna be piled very high. So a small pot will not work for you guys. Okay. Now, you're gonna add some olive oil. You're on a medium heat, medium to low heat. The onions, that was probably about a cup, maybe a little more than a cup. Okay, so on the medium medium to low heat, start sauteing up the onions. Now we add the garlic. Like I said, it's about five cloves chopped up. In my opinion, the more garlic, the better. Now you can add your bacon. I tried to break it up a little bit, but it will break up in there while you're uh, frying the stuff. Okay, don't, don't use too much heat. You don't want to burn this. You just want to let it slowly saute and basically till the onions start to get clear. Throw in your turkey meat. Same thing. Just keep mixing it around. Not too high. You don't want to burn any of this. maybe 15 minutes. You're cooking this about 15 minutes. And when the onions start to look like they're starting to get clear and soft, then you're pretty much good to go. Looking good, looking good. We can uh, pretty much get ready to throw the collard greens in there. This is gonna be delicious, guys. Like I said, you get so much flavor between the onions, the garlic, and the meat that you don't, really, you don't have to add any salt or anything. You're gonna get plenty of salt from the bacon alone. Okay, now these are triple washed, okay? Out of sheer laziness, you can buy a bag, it's already chopped and already washed and you can just add it right in. You don't even have to, uh, you don't even have to mess with cleaning it, looking for bugs and all of that good stuff. All right, so just, you don't have to overpack it, just lay it in there. You can turn the heat up a little bit, medium heat. And I add two cups of water now. I save another half a cup for uh, after it cooks down for a while. Now you're just going to cover it and wait. About 15 minutes. Now this is no way near done cooking, okay? 
but we're just going to start to stir it up a little bit. As you can see, the greens have cooked down and we just give it a good stirring. Try and get some of the onions and garlic and the meat mixed in with the greens. Okay, so just, just give it a good stirring and then you're going to cover it back up. Now give it about 20 minutes and you're basically going to do the same thing. But now you're going to add the quarter cup of apple cider vinegar and once again give it a good stirring. Good mixing. Just try to try to get what's on the bottom to the top and what's on the top to the bottom. And do not forget the apple cider vinegar. It really it really makes the dish. Okay guys, so now you can start tasting the leaves just to see how tender they are and see if you want to add any spices. I'm happy with the flavor. I'm not going to add any spices to it. And the leaves are nowhere near how I like them. So I'm going to add a, the other half cup of water and cook it for about another 40 minutes. And there you go, folks. The leaves are about as tender as I like them. Okay, I don't like them too soft. You don't want to make them too soft. You want to have a little texture to them. Now, I hope you guys try this recipe. You will be very happy, I guarantee you. Unless you're a vegan, then you definitely won't want to eat this. But uh, make some black-eyed peas, some cornbread, some type of barbecue and you will be good to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it around, and stay tuned because uh, the weather is finally breaking here in New York. It might hit 50 degrees this week, and I should be putting out some uh, tandoori pizza videos coming up in the very near future. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you soon.